What up, everybody? Troy Christian. Tom Graves. Yeah, hey. filmmakers for uh, A Perfect Vintage, and we are just sitting here at the house. Every time I come over to Troy's, we drink wine. Such a shame. So we're gonna uh, open up a couple bottles and share them with you. Yeah, and, and actually, uh, full disclosure, I opened this bottle of The Wager before he got here, so I've had a glass. But figured we'd do a little taste test. Got a couple of bottles that my brother made, this uh, Hidden Ridge Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. Got a 2016 The Wager, which is a, a Calistoga Cabernet, and we have some Snoop Dogg 19 Crimes Cabernet. Uh, well, it actually says Cali Red, so we'll see how, how it uh, stacks up against everything else. Uh, sorry, Snoop, you're, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Put you up against a tough company. Dude, love you, but, uh, uh, well, we'll see. Maybe we'll okay. be pleasantly surprised. I mean, we'll okay. You know. Yep, for sure. And look, we're not Psalms. We're not winemakers. We're not wine aficionados. We just happen to have tasted a lot of really good wine from the people that we know from making our film and know a bit about the process. I oftentimes, I'm around my brother and all of his winemaker friends and I get a little bit embarrassed about sounding stupid or s tasting something that I think might be crazy. And I had this fun experience. He was doing some tasting notes for, um, for a wine of his the other day and he said, hey, what do you think about this? And I said, this is gonna sound funny, but it tastes like Twizzler to me. He's like, that's a great tasting note. Don't be afraid. It's it's whatever you taste, whatever you smell. Yeah, and we touched on this in the film. So the taste is uh, tied directly to your memory. And mm -hmm. so some of the experiences that you have may actually impact how future flavors uh, taste to you. So mm -hmm. why don't you grab your the bottle of the wager, the wager. and uh, pour yourself some. Let's do a little taste test there. Be the glass. Yes. All that. Woo. Shit. That's the best. See, see how much I saved him? <laughs> and um, full disclosure, I actually opened it last night, and um, what's really fucking amazing is that there was some leftover for today. <laughs> so this is a 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon, Napa Valley, Timothy Milo's. Amazing legs. She knows how to use them. Yeah. The nose is nice. There's some nice spice in the nose. This is Tim's signature, that deep fruit. It's very well balanced. Man, but it's good. For it's you like... guys uh, at home, if you open up a bottle two to three days with a red, is probably about the max. Um, but you know, the first, the second day is actually really nice. Actually. Yeah, as long as they're like powerful red wines that can uh, have the staying power to stay overnight, they sometimes taste really darn good the next day. It tastes different. Oh yeah, really, big time. Uh, changes mm -hmm. with, with that. Air. It's a living thing. Wine's a living thing. It changes over time, but. Uh, you know, it's also funny, Tom, in this particular angle, and I'm selfieing it, which is, I'm not really good at, but um, you look really small. Yeah. <laughs> Off of the distance, my head like. Is that better? <laughs> I do have a full size head. A nice cherry. Um, I, I get a little prune in there too. Blackberry leaf happening. There's a little bit of um, black pepper. Um, of course, grape. There's a lot of grape in there. It smells like wine. <laughs> I actually really like this wine. It, it makes me happy. Well, let's go on to wine number two. Juicy. Just smell that before. Yeah, can you smell it? Okay, here, here. About this wine, this is Hidden Ridge Cab, which is a Sonoma um, Spring Mountain vineyard. And this is the wine that in our film, Scores 100 points, not this vintage. Uh, 2017 was actually a particularly difficult vintage because of the fires and and a lot of stuff that went on in, in that area during that time. But in 2013, this is the vineyard that scored Timothy Milos, my brother, half-brother, his first 100-point wine from Robert Parker Jr., which we happened to cover the making of in the film. Timing is everything. I mean, it was everything. It was, uh, it was really uh, special to hear that uh, for this project in particular because of, you know, how, how much effort each of us were putting into it to see something that big happen. It was, yep. Really, yep. It was really special. Yep. Hey, so why don't you pour that into the decanter because this wine for sure deserves a good decanting. Snoop. Don't be jealous, Snoop. We'll let that breathe for a minute. This is the fanciest label. Oh yeah. Obviously, 
you know, this is not what goes out to the market, but uh, what we get on our special selections from Tim. You know what I suggest, Tom? I, we should probably, just to give it the best chance it has, would be to pop the cork on the uh, 19 crowns. Uh, we haven't even done that yet. Yeah, let's, 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 let's give it a, a fair yeah, shot. Yeah. Uh, Snoop. Snoop. And what did that cost for the bottle? Uh, I think it was like 13 bucks. 13 bucks. Yeah. Okay, well, FYI, the, the wager and the hidden ridge, depending on the uh, vintage, is 13 bucks. <laughs> Good luck. Pop it like it's hot. <laughs> Pop it like it's hot. Snoop oh, on look. The, on the cork. So you get a little bit of that. What the too. cork? Have you guys seen this bottle, by the way? It's, it's you point your camera at it. Uh, you gotta get the app called Explore Living Wine Labels. So we're gonna give it a shot, uh, scan the label. And let's see what he does here. Scan label. They call me the dog father, king of the West Coast. And I was born at Defy Society. Okay. Glasses up. Let's make a toast to success and nothing less. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. The Hidden Ridge Immortal Estate Cabernet does not have that feature. No. So we're going to let Snoop breathe a minute. Because hopefully it doesn't taste like dog. Especially wet dog. So here's the uh, 2017. Just give a little taste. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of spicy on the nose. I like that. Oh yeah, very. That was really yummy. It's really tasty. Oh yeah, a little bit of pepper in there, and then yeah, there's something. It must be those mountain herbs. And we talk about it in the movie. It's um, up in this vineyard. There's trees. There's chaparral. There's wild herbs and things growing all over the place. And those things have fragrance and they have taste and they they go down into the soil and they become part of the terroir. And I do think that you can taste that in this. I'm actually like thinking back to the 2013 since we've actually been able to experience that a few different times. You get the youth, so it's a little bit more like tight in the mouth. Yeah, a little tighter. But there's also, you. I taste the grapes have struggled more, you know, like they really, really tried to get to that right flavor. So there's a little bit more, like a little bit of a raisin kind of. Tim says something that's really cool. It says grapes that have some struggle to give, create wines of great distinction or something along those lines. Because Yeah, because I think about it, it's like, it's just what is the, what happened to those grapes that made them be the way they are? Everything plays a part in what the grapes are like. And these grapes were beautifully pissed. Just like we're gonna be shortly beautifully pissed. <laughs> Right, right, geese. Fucking a, beautifully pissed. It's a really good expression, and probably I would not want to taint this glass with the hair of the dog, so to speak. All right, Snoop. It's your time. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, 19 Crimes. 19 Crimes tells the true story of rule breakers who beat the odds, overcame adversity, and went on to become folk heroes in their own society. The spirit lives on today through innovations and culture creators, like Cali's own Snoop Dogg. A leader in contemporary pop culture, Snoop Dogg embodies the timeless values of 19 Crimes rogues who came before him. So you know what I noticed? There's absolutely nothing about wine in there. <laughs> Composition, red wine. Red origin, wine. Origin, California. So we know it's red, we know it's from. Red and from California. 19 Crimes, here we go. But you already noticed like the color. Wow, look at that color. It's the color is like, like this, I, I clearly wore this shirt to match this color. It's this kind of um, bright purple. It looks like grape. Yeah, grape juice. It, definitely. My first impression is is sock. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no. Sock. That's what I'm getting. Like sock that's been in your shoe for a minute. <laughs> Whoa. How sweet. Very sweet. It's yeah. like like rhubarb doused in sugar. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of sugar in here. But it's got this, um, the drying tannins on the finish. I mean, it makes me uh, need a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> it 
But uh, to be frank, though, like I, I would, I would drink this. It's not bad. Uh, I would not drink this, to be honest. It tastes to me like Kool Aid. Mm. It's the very sweet. Mouth feel is a huge thing, mm. and it tastes like that water that you put that Kool Aid powder in, mm. and it kind of sits on your palate. I'm like. I'm literally tasting the granular Kool-Aid powder. It's like grape Kool-Aid to me. Yeah. yeah. But oftentimes when, you, when, when you're selling wine to less sophisticated palates, sweeter is a better way to go. Mm. No, that is just... We're, we're setting our glasses. Down. Let's do the direct compare right back to yeah, you. Yeah, please, thank you, Kim. Kim. We're going, so we're going right back to the Hidden Ridge just to like figure the palate. Oh, see? Mm. 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 You have no idea. I guess that's our job to give you an idea. That's mm. like... <laughs> the difference is... Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's everything. It's mouthfeel, it's texture. And, it's and you know taste. what, Tom? 2017, I was actually standing in this vineyard when these grapes were growing. So I've met them personally. And I will say... It's nice to see you again. You pissed off little creatures trying to make it up there on the mountain. All right, so um, grab your favorite bottle of wine, put your feet up, take a nice deep breath, watch our movie, because it's uh, it'll make you feel like we feel when we're hanging out in Napa. Um, and uh, yeah, please take a moment to watch it, rate it, review it. Drop us a line, let us know what you thought, and um, make sure it's hot. Cheers. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. This completely unprofessional um, wine tasting was brought to you by us. Yeah, aperfectvintage.com. We're the filmmakers. Uh, please check out our film. We'd love for you to watch it, uh, rate, review, uh, just be honest. If you hate it, Say that. If you like it, say that. And um, yeah, but if you don't, if you decide to just rent by and don't watch it at all, give us a good rating. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> From a perfect vintage to you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>